motorcycle adventure Dirt Bike TV, supported proudly by Adventure Spec in the UK, Rally Raid Products, Giant Loop in the United States, Adventure Moto in Australia, Pirelli Tyres, Motel Oils, RK Chains and Australian Adventure Bike Magazine. So, Woody and Elise from Elwood Motorcycle Adventures, great to see you again. Yeah, how you going, Thanks Dave? Thanks for having us back, Dave. Good. Yeah, well, Nugget and I have been missing you. I mean, that uh, tropical punch ride across the top end was just absolutely brilliant. It was. Yeah, we've got a lot of good feedback about that and um, some bookings coming through from that one and people pretty excited to um, come along and join us. So I guess that's a good place to start. I mean, um, you know, that my understanding is the trip from Cairns to Darwin, you've still got a couple of vacancies for people who want to bring their own bikes. You do, yes. Yeah, and all our five bikes at the moment are, are all taken up, but yeah, there's still there is still some room for, for people on their own bikes if they want to tag along, definitely. And the the Darwin to Broome, there's there's some vacancies on that ride, and I, I guess my bias is that that's the country I've never seen before. I, I just thought that was stunning, and you know, as we're talking, I'm going to be popping up some video for the listeners to have a look at. I mean, that was truly a remarkable country. Yeah, it's, um, we're pretty excited to get back out there, actually. We, we've been working on this one for quite some time. Um, logistically, it's, it's a little bit difficult um, for a lot of people, um, us included, really, to get across the whole top end of Australia, um, especially through the Kimberley all the way to Broome. So we've been working really hard on making all that work, and I think our plan is um, coming together pretty well. Yep. Yeah, we've found some, um, some really awesome places to go and check out along the way, like... Um, a lot to do with the exploration we did with you guys earlier yeah. on, uh, very late last year. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's all it's all come together. So uh, hopefully we're going to put on a cracking cracking tour. Yeah, yeah I, I you know of all the tours in Australia at the moment, um, and there's a lot going on. I mean, I rate that as number one. That that one across the top end. I, I you know it's a once in a lifetime, and it's so different to what we do. Um, yeah, so. Uh, very envious, but then again, Nugget and I are going to catch up with you for further exploration after you complete the Darwin to Broom run. Yeah, yeah, we've got some um, some exciting stuff we're working on over there as well. So um, yeah, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a fun fun experience what we've got planned. I think so. Um, we'll we'll, uh, well, I'm sure we'll we'll let the cat out of the bag a bit further down the track, but yeah. It's yeah, no, we'll keep, we'll keep it under our hats at the moment. I mean, I, I'm looking forward to Nuggets cooking. I know Elise is. <laughs> yeah, I really enjoyed his cooking last time. So. Oh, that, that'd be one of the highlights for me, actually. And um, I'm going to bring him a couple of tubes. I'm going to have a couple of tubes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was talking to him the other day, actually. He said he's only just pulled that tube out of that bike. So, you know, he bizarrely, he, we just did a ride, an adventure ride, and it was pretty tough, um, a really muddy ride. And he did that whole ride on that, what, 1980s tire tube. <laughs> yeah, yeah. unbelievable. Yeah, that, he is yeah. unbelievable. <laughs> it is. Sometimes I watch that footage again, I think, how did we get so lucky in the middle of nowhere no. to you know, come across those wonderful people and pull a tube out of thin air? <laughs> oh, it was crazy stuff. So, um, yeah, so that, that tour from, from Darwin to, to Broome, um, so how many vacancies do you have on it at the moment? We actually haven't probably released dates for that one. Um, oh, as I said, no, it's best in, first in, best dressed. So, so the first people that are going to get access to it are the ones who have subscribed to our website. So yes. we're going to set that in. Um, but there is only about eight spots for hire bikes on that um, yes. and probably about 10 people to bring bring their own bike. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're just, we're, it's, it's a tough one at the moment, of course, with the um, restrictions in WA. It's yes. been a little bit hard to um, work out a few logistics and, and what have you, but... Um, we have a lot of plans in place, backup plans. And um, so, yeah, ex people can expect those dates to probably be released um, in the next few weeks, actually. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, well, cross your fingers. I th I'm pretty confident, like, Western Australia's got to open up. They can't They can't stay closed forever. So. Yeah, yeah. We're so. under the same impression, I think, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
So um, an opportunity to, to talk about some other tours that you do. I mean, your primary tour is a, a Cape trip, isn't it? Yeah, so we've we've still got all our Cape York tours um, for this year coming up. Um, I think we've got eight. Eight. I thought it was ten. Ten. I can't remember. Anyway, they just keep coming. <laughs> so uh, we've got those coming up starting in June. Um, we've got our Cairns and Darwin trips, the ten dayers, the Kimberley. Uh, well, sorry, the Cairns to Broome this year as well. Um, Elise has just um, teed up with a friend of ours. Tanya Hearn uh, to do some women's coaching. I'm sure you can yeah. talk a bit more about that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, there's a lot going on at the moment um, in, in the way of... Uh, we've just finished our Victorian High Country tour. So we've only just in the last few days returned to Cairns from Melbourne. Wow. Um, yeah. So th that Victorian High Country tour is, I feel in my opinion, is totally underrated in the way of... It is, people ask me what my favourite tour is. Um, and and it'd have to be the Victorian High Country. It's yeah, Victoria. Uh, we do do the clubby and I do a lot of testing of bikes there, and uh, you know the Victorian High Country. The only thing that touches near that for me is some of the Flinders Ranges, but um, yeah. yeah, it's right up there. It's brilliant. Oh. Absolutely, yeah. it, it's definitely my favourite. I love. Um, it's a little bit more technical riding, which um, I love that type of thing and the scenery and, um, yeah, you know, staying in cattlemen's hearts and roast dinners and fires and, oh, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. For our adventure riding side of things, it's um, probably our most challenging trip yes. for riding. Yeah. But, yeah, it is really, really worth it in the way of, where, where you can see, where we go, the history of the area, all sorts of stuff. It's an unbelievable trip for, for us. Yeah. 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 And it's getting better every time. So, so at least um, one of the features of Elwood Motorcycle Adventure Rides is um, there's a, a decent sprinkling of women in the rides, but you've got a couple of special events this year for people. I mean, adventure riding is booming, and what we seem to do is we're collecting a lot of road bike riders in the mix, and they're coming into our sport. And, and so you've got a couple of great uh, opportunities for female riders to have a taste of adventure. We do. So we do get quite a lot of ladies. Um, and we opened up a specific Cape York ladies um, tour this year and it sold out within about five hours. Wow. Um, yeah, which was amazing. We've got a big wait list and it's so cool to see so many ladies. Um, and it's of all ages, all abilities. You know, we have... Some ladies who've had their motorbike license for a long time on the road, um, haven't ridden a dirt bike since they're back on the farm, but, you know, want to get on their bike and explore. And um, so, yeah, we, we really do, we can cater for all levels um, in that sense. And for those ladies with that minimal experience, we were actually putting on a women's uh, coaching weekend. So it's an right. adventure trip. Yeah. yeah. So. It's for, it's for all ladies, and a lot of those ladies are coming on to our Cape York tour um, who, yeah, we, we go back to basics. So we, we get on the bikes, go back to basics. We do some coaching in a paddock for a day. Um, yeah. You know, we, we even, some, some ladies in saying that have never had experience riding on the, the road before. You know, they've always ridden on a motocross track or. Oh, yeah, the other track. way around. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. We've actually noticed quite a few um, and ladies especially uh, don't have a great deal of confidence riding on the road in traffic. So yeah. that's actually a big part of um, one of the coaching fundamentals that we're going to be doing is riding in traffic, um, getting confident on the road um, and riding two up on dirt road. Some ladies um, have never done that before. Yeah. And, and, yeah, everything we've learned in the paddock, we then um, we go and camp out together, have a few few drinks, a nice dinner, some breakfast the next day, and then we get up and go for a trail ride and, and practice all those things that we've learnt the day before out on the trails. Yeah, no, it sounds exciting. I think, um, you know, there's a lot of people are just holding back with adventure riding because they're just not quite sure. And once they, you know, like if they subscribe to your, um, you know, Elwood Motorcycle Adventures, you know, they're going to get a heads up on all these events and, and stuff. So it's a great way for ladies to get into the sport, you know. Oh, absolutely it is. And it's it's such a fun and safe environment. And even on tour with us, you know, I'm on pretty well every single one of our tours. So, um, and, and for some ladies, you know, they ring up and ask if I'm going to be there. And yes, I am. And it's fine, yeah. you know. 
and yeah, it's just a really good environment to, to get away, even just to get away with the girls for the weekend and have a ride. Yeah, well, I know there's a number of blokes who um, watched you ride along that, um, was it Karunji Trail? Oh, yeah. Karunji? Yeah, and they say, God, oh. you can, what is it? The Karunji, yeah. Karunji, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I got it right. Um, yeah, so a lot of a lot of blokes say, "Gee, that Elise can ride," and I said, "Yeah." <laughs> well, yeah, they don't see the parts where I'm falling off, which I do a lot. So yeah, yeah. Well, we all. Um, I don't know how to have a bike now. Yeah, but um, you know that was a that 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 Karunji trial was um a, a life um meaning you know memory there like it was just so much fun. Nugget and I still talk about that. It was just brilliant. Yeah, that was that was amazing out there. We were so excited to get back out there yeah. this year. So yeah. yeah. So um anyway, I just thought I'd catch up to, to you guys and see what you're up to. And um, yeah, exciting times. And for those who haven't uh, or would like the opportunity of riding that very magical Kimberley's, um, you know, you've got Elise and Woody there doing it this year. And as soon as the dates come out, they're going to come out in the next couple of weeks. I couldn't more strongly recommend a tour for the for, uh, to do in Australia this year. You'll, it, it's just brilliant. It's just stunning. So, guys, great to see you. And um, we'll see you around the traps. And looking forward to going exploring with you again. And looking forward to seeing some wonderful drone shots, Elise. You've got, you're a cracking drone pilot. There's some beautiful stuff there. Yeah. Yeah, we... Um... I mean, we're in some pretty cool spots to get some uh, pretty amazing footage, and it's only getting better. Yeah. So, yeah, we're getting access to more and more places that yeah. um, it's not available to the general public. Public, and and I mean, it's it's to a lot of the hard work that um, we, we've done over the last few years, and um, yeah, doing it the right way, and you know, meeting the traditional owners, getting yeah. the right access in the areas it goes a long way to getting uh, opening up this sort of country to, to what we want to do. So it's um. Yeah, yeah, it's um, yeah. but you know, it was great. Um, you know, when we, you were riding and exploring, and Nugget and I came along, and um, you know, we saw the efforts you went to 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 reach out to to traditional owners, and and that's a fantastic thing. And um, you know, they were as enthusiastic as you were. So um, yeah, there's some great opportunities for the future for Elwood. So anyway, I'll see you guys around the traps, and um, no worries, Dave. Thanks for that. We'll um, we'll catch up shortly. See you, mate. Awesome. See Thanks, you. Dave. Bye.